so welcome to my new shall I say series I'm not sure if I call it series or not um, called the Famara Letrozole Diaries um, I did do IVF diaries um, but I'm no longer doing IVF I'm doing Letrozole so or Famara what do you want to call it first thing that you got to do is get your cycle day one and I don't think I ovulated this month so um, I have to bring on cycle day one with a drug called Provera so this is what this very quick vlog is going to be on today so what I have to do is I have to take these tiny little white pills they're very very small they're about that big they're tiny um, and I have to take two of them twice a day with food so I take one in the morning with breakfast and one at night um, before I go to bed um, so I still obviously probably got dinner like rolling around in my stomach there somewhere <laughs> and I am currently on the ninth day of these I've got another packet somewhere and I'm kind of worried because I can't find it oh here it is it must have fallen off my desk yes yeah, so I've got three tablets to go so I've got tonight's dose and tomorrow's two doses and then it's basically a waiting game to um, wait for my um, cycle day one or my period now it's not technically a period because it's not brought on by um, the lining of uterus shedding because you haven't got pregnant it's um called a withdrawal bleed because basically you are having a withdrawal of a drug in this case progesterone and um so then your lining does shed so it's like a it's a medically induced period i guess you could say but it's it's not technically a period the 10 milligram ones um and so provera what it does is it treats like menstrual problems so if you've got random cycles like they haven't turned up for a long time or um Perhaps you've had mid-cycle bleeding or things like that. So that Provera is for that kind of thing. It actually also treats um, something that has got nothing to do with periods. Um, to a woman's issues. But um, these can be treat, used to treat that as well. I went and did some little Google search for you. To see if I could find some other information on Provera for you. So what we've got here is its generic name is Medroxyprogesterone. I know the progesterone. I don't know what the Medroxy, whatever it's called, means. Um, used for treating certain menstrual problems such as abnormal bleeding or lack of period. Um, it's a progestin hormone. It works by altering the lining of the uterus. Um, there are some drugs that can affect it, so check with your doctor. So I personally stopped my Fair Haven Health um, supplements, although I, I've literally got maybe a couple of days of each of those um, bottles left. So I could pretty much say I'd finished them up anyway, but um, even if I was halfway through a bottle, I um, would stop them just in case you don't know um, I didn't see anything on the list that looks like it would react with Provera but just to be safe I just I stopped taking those effects there was a huge list of side effects it's like it's like it could possibly do anything to you it's crazy so I just took a couple stomach pain blurred vision diarrhea eye pain headache lost appetite hives fainting dark urine chills and change in skin color some very bizarre um, side effects there so I have not had any side effects whatsoever on Provera um, and I never have I've taken Provera many many times in my fertility and fertility journey um, and the first time I took it it took three days from finishing my pills to get the withdrawal bleed the next cycle after that it took uh, five days the next cycle after that it took seven days the next cycle after that it took ten days and the next cycle after that I didn't get a withdrawal bleed at all so <laughs> Um, I wonder if my body just kind of got used to it or something because it's really weird and um, but that's many 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 years ago now I have not taken Provera since before Roman so 2010 so five years ago I think it was the last time I took Provera and because um, most of my most of my cycles like with IVF and all that the um, bleeds were brought on with the birth control pill so I haven't taken Provera for a very long time, so I'm hoping that once I finish these pills, a withdrawal bleed will happen with only like three days or something. I don't want to have to wait like another 10 days. That would suck. So this is the first process of starting a Femara Electrozole cycle. Um, the next thing to happen is just wait for that withdrawal bleed. When I get that withdrawal bleed, call into my clinic with um, cycle day one, and then from there I will start taking my Femara Electrozole um on cycle day three to cycle day seven so it's really so exciting and then i'll get a blood test 
see if I um, ovulated and if I didn't ovulate well then that's the end of the cycle and then we get on to the next one take Provera again um, and if I did ovulate then I will be on my two week wait so that'll be crazy I'm so excited um, <laughs> I just can't believe I'm doing this again. I think we're gonna have a bit more success with Femara. I've heard it has a lot more success with people, for women with PCOS, so we shall find out. Um, but that is the beginning. I thought I'd just give you some information on Provera and start off this journey of um, Femara, which is, so if you're not following my journey to baby number three already, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can see um, everything else that is gonna go along on this um, Femara cycle. As always, thank you so much for watching, so hit subscribe and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next vlog. Bye!